in relations to modern world. For me, Islam does not recognize modern or old or primitive world. What it believes is world right from the creation as it was done by God and then serial progress ultimately ending at doomsday. Whatever is within this circle are the challenges which is a struggle between evil and the noble part and all the, the, the human beings are considered to be vice-gerents of Allah. They were created in the shadow of Allah. When, when we find this kind of uh, topic, we are immediately directed to the criticism which we face today about certain political Islamists present in my country, in your country, in some other countries. For me, Islam is universal. Islam's message was and is and will remain for all time to come. Islamic message cannot be changed. It is, it, it is composed of Allah's words directly spoken to Muhammad the last prophet. So any attempt to change the word from Quran, a Quranic script, is not acceptable even to a normal believer like me. But Quran is open to interpretation. And this is here we find a dearth of just, judicious and universally acceptable interpretation of Quranic injections. When people say Islam and modern world, people like me think that those who are comparing Islamic reverence, Islamic message, they, they are trying to promote the idea that perhaps Islam has ceased to partly or wholly address the issues such as democracy, gender issues, tolerance, human rights, which in their view are the highlights of modern world. Without going deeper into the theological aspect of these issues, I would say, look at Islam, Muslim populated countries. I would not use the word Islamic countries. Look at even the organization of Islamic conferences, where we have 57 members. You would not find, except to a certain extent, in Saudi Arabia and in uh, Iran Republic. 
a mix of clergy and government in all other Muslim states. In Pakistan, which is an Islamic state of the state, and here, the attributes of modern world, which is democracy, you see it prospering. You see gender equality as part of the constitutions and tolerance for diversity, tolerance for other religions, you find it as part of the law, daily law, practices and constitutions. There have been some instances if I have to quote Pakistan, that in our constitution, nothing can be introduced as law if it is repugnant to Islam, Quran, and Sunnah. 